Well, this is the view from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa in Barrage Street. Bar 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 As you can see outside, there's weather. And uh, <laughs> nature is occurring. Buildings. Uh, it's so nice to have you two here. It's Ooh. so nice to have you here. Colin Mockery, everyone, back on uh, the BT set with us. Welcome back to Vancouver. Oh, I love coming back here, so thank you. Well, you've got great roots here in this city, mm -hmm. especially with your history at uh, Vancouver Theatre Sports. Can you talk to us about what you learned as a baby improver back then? It wasn't called Vancouver Theatre Sports at that point. Um, what was it called? Something about Back Alley. Oh, um, it was called Vancouver Theatre Sports. We were at City Stage on Thurlow Street, and that became the Back Alley uh, later on, actually after I left. So the much history. There is. Uh, so I uh, basically learned everything um, I know about improv there. Um, I saw a demonstration of theatre sports. I got in with the league uh, pretty much right at the beginning. Um, it was an interesting time because nobody knew what improv was, so we had to pull people in from the McDonald's next door to City Stage and say, hey, come see a show, and they said, oh, what's it about? We, go, oh, we don't know. It's really up to you. And so, um, and then from there, within a year, we had lineups around the block, and it just become a, a great success story over the years. What was the first skit that you ever saw when you were introduced to the art of improv where you thought, you know what, this is what I want to do. I can't remember the skit. All I remember is going, wow, they don't have to learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And being lazy, I thought, this is perfect. You just get up there and make up crap, I'm in. But do you, do you get nervous? Because the amazing thing is you had two shows last night, Improv Center, The Vogue uh, tonight, and then you're back at the Improv Center. But uh, when you have your troupe with Ryan Stiles and those kinds of guys on TV, it's mm -hmm. awesome to watch because it looks like you guys know each other so well. Yeah. When you come back and you don't know these people, but you know that they know the craft, uh, do you like that, that it's foreign territory all over again? Oh, I love it. it. Because it makes me sort of go back to the basics of improv, where I really have to listen, I really have to uh, pay attention to the people I'm working with, because I don't know them as well as I know Ryan or Brad or Wayne. So it, it, it gets me back into uh, doing the good improv that I, I hope I can do. And it's always exciting, because they're, I mean, they're world-class improvisers, so it's always just fun. So Colin, I know you're doing great things for future improv stars, potentially stars, uh, by starting a scholarship for for people who potentially couldn't afford to get the training. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about your scholarship? Yeah, it's a scholarship. And Thank you. It's, uh, <laughs> so, Riaz. <laughs> has my name on it. Uh, and it's for everyone, uh, no matter your age, gender, uh, uh, race. It's for people who really want to improvise and maybe having uh, some financial uh, difficulties. Uh, you just apply for the, the scholarship and the uh, uh, the theater sports league will, will give it to you and what do you do classes. With, what do you do with the money? You just take individual classes, or is there a college program? Or? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you just take the classes. Uh, the classes are ongoing. It helps you uh, get through the, the program. Great. Do you ever get nervous knowing that you're walking into uncertainty, you're making it all up on the spot with the audience suggestions? At this point, you make it look effortless. Yeah. Do the nerves ever take Oh, sure. There's always that moment as you just before you go on where you think oh, there's an audience who paid good money to see a show that we don't have at this particular moment. Um, but then once you walk out on stage, this calm comes over you and it's the most comfortable I am in real life, sadly. Um, so because I know I'm working with people who are at the top of their game, I'm in a safe environment and I know it's just going to be a fun night. I have a suggestion. How about we really uh, throw it for a loop and you work with some people who are not at the top of their right game. Right at the bottom game. for you. All right. Right, right at the bottom. What are you suggesting? Uh, I suggest that we do a little improv game this right. morning on breakfast television okay. and I know there's the alphabet game. We all know our alphabet so perhaps we can right. try this one. So explain to us how it goes. So the alphabet game is we'll do a scene. Mm. Uh, whoever talks first their sentence will start with the letter A. The next person starts with B, C until you get through the entire alphabet. So there should be like 26 lines. Okay. okay. So, uh, so should we get how about a, a place that three people could meet? Okay, uh, Tim Hortons. Uh, Tim Hortons. Yeah. All right. All right, what would you guys like to order? Because it's my birthday, I think I'll have uh, the birthday donut with sprinkles. Mmm, chai. Chai. I love chai. Don't you know chai <laughs> causes a problem? Chai donuts actually causes shingles. Oh. Don't worry about it. He uh, has this amazing ability to not get shingles. E. <laughs> enough, enough with the limitations. If I want chai, I'm going to drink chai. Friend, back off. I'm just here to serve you donuts. Great. Give me the donuts. Hallelujah. 
Try it for everybody. I'm glad that we got over our difficulty. And you know what? I'm going to give you each a free donut. Just for being TJ and Rias? Okay. <laughs> Let me say I'm giving you a free donut. I'm not sure about you. Uh, money? No. Oh, oh, that's a problem. Because here, although I will be giving you free donuts, you have to pay for the coffee. People, he's ripping us off. Question, how long is this going to go on for? Oh, wait, it's ending right now. Listen, oh, more than Colin We didn't even get to see. We ran out of time. Oh, I had a really good X one. Oh, <laughs> saved you before that. Leave the morning more. Colin Mockery uh, tonight at the Vogue Theatre, uh, again at the Improv Center uh, tomorrow night. Uh, an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you. Always fun to come here. Yeah. Thanks so much. What was your X going to be, by the way? Did you have one? Uh, Xerxes Ghost. <laughs>